why are they giving me these instructions then finally a lady came out and said well we're asking you all of these questions because the stamp you have in your passport is fake Okay, let's go on. Okay, bye. wish you have a good journey. Thank you, Lipan. Bye bye. I will send you a message.
So I finally made it onto the flight. Guys, you would not believe what just happened to me. I got into the airport as usual. I was in a line of maybe a hundred or so passengers on their way to Frankfurt. Um, it was a long wait, but people were very organized and just waiting, you know, in order and everything. Everything was just proceeding smoothly. Um, of course, because it's my first time out in seven months, you know, I'm a bit paranoid. So every time I keep, you know, reaching for my sanitizer, just making sure that my hands are sanitized and that I'm keeping safe. I think that is normal for someone who has been locked up for so long. So I checked in my bags. It was good. They told me my bags would proceed straight to Montego Bay because I will go from Algiers to Frankfurt, from Frankfurt to Toronto, and from Toronto to Montego Bay. So it will be a long, long journey. So I was glad when, you know, they told me that my bags would, you know, continue straight to Montego Bay. However, when I reached the border control, you know, gave over my passport uh, to the immigration officer, I noticed he was just flipping through the pages of my passport like he was checking and double checking stuff. And I, I was very concerned at that point, like, you know, what what's going on? Then he started to ask me some detailed questions. Uh, questions about, you know, you know, when, when was the first time I came to Algeria? What's the purpose of me being here? You know, how long have I been here this time? And so on and so forth. Then he said, okay, ma'am, could you please wait here? You know, he was talking to me in French. You know, everything he was saying, I could understand, you know, um, clearly. But then I, I, I became concerned when I saw he, he, he called for his supervisor and the supervisor called for another person and they were all discussing my case and maybe after five minutes or so they called me over to ask me the same questions. Well, ma'am, what are you doing here? How long have you been here and so on? So I, I, I asked, is there a problem? They said, no, no problem, no problem. But there was man, one man in particular, he kept saying to me, you know, don't speak to us in English. Make sure you speak to us in French. Well, at that time when someone is forcing you to communicate in French, given that my French is more or less, you know, you know, it's coming up. But at that time, you know, I was just so nervous. You know, why are they giving me these instructions? Then finally, a lady came out and said, well, we're asking you all of these questions because the stamp you have in your passport is fake. <laughs> I was just so, I was taken aback. Fake? What do you mean fake? You know, what do you mean? I've been coming to Algeria all the time. I come through the same airport. I get my stamps in the airport. What would I be doing with a fake stamp? And, and why would I want to stay, like overstay my welcome when, you know, I've been trying to leave the country for so long? Yeah, literally, I was being investigated at border control for having a fake stamp. Could it get any worse? Guys, guys, can you, can you even begin to imagine this predicament? And on top of that, they were discussing my case up until 12 30 p.m when my flight was to take off at 1 p.m i started to cry i started to beg them please don't let this flight leave me it's my only hope out of algeria guys i made it in the nick of time it was 12 55 p.m when i was running like a crazy person through the airport 
when I finally got to my boarding gate to see people lined up there like the flight was late I was just re rejoicing I was like thank God I'm finally getting to leave this country God you are mighty he is mighty he and he alone yes guys so this is how i'm actually on this flight talk about an ordeal talk about an adventure <laughs> this has been my life thank god i'm finally on my way to frankfurt I'm exhausted, but I'm so grateful. 